Hey guys, so textbook question. Actually, I have to delete this. I'm not modeling explained, just textbook questions explained, basically. Okay, so it's 7.2, 7.3. Okay, I collected all the questions you have a problem with on Google Classroom. So here it is. I'm going to talk about mainly word problems and、uh, some solving of、um, expressions to simplify. Okay, so first one. I think that's seven point two homework. Okay,、uh, question fifteen and sixteen. Ah,、uh, so this one first. Lee has decided to build a shed on a square concrete slab. Okay, so basically, the 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 thing about this problem is that this slab here at the bottom, that should be a square. Okay, it doesn't seem like so, but it actually is a square. So take note of that. That's a square. Okay. So if you actually, this is like the three D view. If you actually do a top down view. Uh, it should look like this. This is a concrete slab. The gray, okay, and then、uh, the shed has the same width. This is the shed, by the way, okay. So that means I'm gonna change the shed color. Uh, that's the shed. So the shed basically is occupying this little area here. Okay. Again, this is the top-down view. So and the shed has the same width W as the slab. Okay, so here is W, W. Okay, so it's W here, right? So it's the same width. So the shed has the the shed has the same、um, width as well. So its length is two meters shorter than the width of the slab. Okay, so this sentence here, I want you to highlight it or just like you know that sentence should pop out because that's a relationship sentence. It tells you a relationship. That's where you actually、um, represent one variable by another variable. So its length, ah,、uh, length is. Which is equal sign. Okay, two meters shorter than the width of the slab. So the width, two meters shorter than the width. Two meters shorter. Two meters shorter. Two meters short shorter. So which is width, ah、uh, minus two because length is width minus two centimeters. Okay, so length equals to width minus two. So here basically will be length equals to width minus two. Awesome. So, what is an expression for the area of the shed? Okay. So basically, they want us to calculate the area of this. So we have the width, we have the length, so we can calculate it. Sorry, not calculate an expression for it. Okay. So area. Oops, eraser again. Area equals to width times length, and we don't know length, but we know how what length is represented by width. So we can substitute. We can substitute into W times width times width minus two, okay. And、uh, according to distributive property, this applies to this, and this applies to that. So W times W is W squared minus W times two is two W, okay. That's your expression. If you are super super awesome and you want to add a unit for it, it should be meter squared, okay. Okay, so the width W of the slab is four. What is the area of the shed? So basically,、uh, this is an expression here. We cannot solve it because there's no uh, uh, variable that's given a number. So right now, um, at part B, so width is equal to four. Now, if width is equal to four, let's say if W is equal to four, then we can plug in four wherever W is in that expression. Okay. So basically, if we have w squared minus two w is equal to the area, then we can substitute it. Area then equals to wherever w is. We substitute it for four. So four squared minus two times w. So we times four. Eight. Okay, meter squared. So yeah. So that's question fifteen. So question sixteen. The best word for blah blah. blah Is five point five meters longer than one point five times the width? Okay, that sentence should pop out for you too because that's a relationship sentence. Okay, is five point five longer than one point five times the width? Okay, one point five times the width. I want to set width as w. One point five times the width should be one point five times the width like that. Okay. And is five point five meters longer? So the length is that plus five point five because the length is 
5.5 meters longer than 1.5 times the width. Okay, this is how you actually translate a words into expression. So length equals to that. What an ex what is an expression for air? See, these kind of questions are all over the place. Okay, so they they give you width as w or length as l, and they want you to represent um, l by whatever w it has. Okay, and they want you to find the area. So it's. It, they are all these kind of questions. So if you see these kind of questions, it's always the same way. There's a relationship sentence there to actually find out, um, um, let you find out what's the relationship between variables. In this case, is L and W. Okay, the relationship between them is like this. Expression for area, A equals 2, length times width. We don't know length, but we can represent length by width, which is 1.5 W plus 5.5. So that's your length times width, okay? Distributive property, boom, boom. So this one should be 1.5 W times W is 1.5 W squared plus 5.5 times W is 5.5 W. Okay. So that's the expression for it. So if the length is... 28, what is the area of the basketball court? Okay, ooh, that's telling you not the width, but it's telling you the length. So if the length is 28 meters. Now, okay, so in this case, we have to solve for W first. We have to solve for W. We, we are given what's the length of the basketball court, but we don't know what the width is. Why do we have to know the width? Because the area is represented by this expression here, which contains width only. Okay, so we need to solve it. But can we solve it though? Yes, of course we can because we have a relationship equation between length and width. So if L equals to 1.5 W plus 5.5, then 28 equals to 1.5 W plus 5.5. And then we solve it. Okay, so you want to solve for W. This one, you move to the other side and you change it to a minus. Okay, minus 5.5 on the other side. So it's that, 1.5 W. Okay, I just don't like to calculate, but I have to calculate. 22.5, 1.5 W. Okay, one, two. Okay, so 1.5 times W, so you move it here, you divide, divide 1.5 on both sides, basically, and you can get 15, W equals to 15, okay? If W equals to 15, then we plug W equals 15 into this equation here. Wherever W is, we change it to 15, so 1.5, 15 squared, plus 5.5 times, times 15. Okay, so, and then we solve it. I will leave you to solve it. Uh, you don't want to solve it here. I will just say, plug in your calculator. You know how to do it. Uh, plug in your calculator, basically, you don't trust your calculator to do bad math for you. I said it in class. You basically do bad math yourself, okay, to order yourself, and you plug into your calculator one step at a time. So do calculator this first, and calculate this, and then this, and then plus them together, okay? So that's that question there. This one here. A rectangular field is uh, 4x plus 2 meters long, and the width of the field is 2 meters shorter than the length. What is an expression for the area of the field? Okay, so basically this is another relationship kind of question. The width of the field is 2 meters shorter than the length. Okay, so that meters long. So basically you can treat this, sorry, you can treat this as the length as a cluster, okay? So length basically equals to 4x plus 2, okay? So the length, the width of the field is 2 meters shorter. So the width, therefore, is shorter than the width, the length. 2 meters shorter than the length, so length minus 2. Always ask yourself, which is shorter, which is shorter? So the width is shorter, to which width is 2 meters shorter than the length. So width is shorter, so is L minus 2, okay? So always talk to yourself to analyze the question, please. And W equals 2, length is 4x plus 2, minus 2, and then so it's 4x. Because plus 2, minus 2, they cancel up each other. Okay, so basically what I did is just to substitute L equals to that. Whenever you see L, substitute 4x plus 2. It's all substitution. Okay? Alright, so that's that. We know the width now. What's the expression for the area of the field? I'm going to rewrite what length is. So 4x plus 2 
w equals to 4x. Okay, expression for the area equals to width times length, with, which is 4x, which is the width, okay, and length, which is 4x plus 2. There we go. And then we use distributive property. This is the monomial. These are polynomials or binomial. And this applies to that. This applies to that. And it's a multiply in the middle. Okay, so it's 4x times 4x plus 4x times 2. So it's 16x squared because there are 2x, 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 okay? 14x squared plus 8x. So that's the expression for it. Okay. Meter squared. Okay. So, all right, this question here. A trunk, uh, a dump truck holds 10 meter cube of soil. Okay. So I'm going to say like, for example, this is the trunk. Okay. It holds 10 meter cube of soil you're filling it you so basically you run the truck multiple times okay uh to fill in the soil so you dumped all the soil into a yard which is actually like a 3d shape okay you need to fill all these space with soil and you need to multiple times like truck after truck after truck after truck of soil okay so what polynomial expression represent the number of trucks loads soil you will need so do you see you sometimes like you might be confused like how do i even express that but you make use of what you already given so the dimension is of this whole thing is uh 2x plus 3 uh, 5x and 2. So, like, where I where I put all the dimensions is really arbitrary, okay? So, I basically, you can put 5x, uh, 2x plus 3 here. You can put 5x here. doesn't matter. I just want to represent these are the four, three dimensions for a uh, cube. Or, not a cube, sorry, for a volume, um, a, rect a rectangular space, okay? So, for volume is always, always, always a two time the three dimension together. So, you know, you can calculate the volume. Why do I want the volume, by the way? I want how much soil. I want to know how much soil I need. So, I can divide it by 10 to see how many truck I need. Okay? So, V equals 2. 2x plus 3. That's first dimension. And second dimension. And third dimension. You time them up. You're done. Okay, in this case, how you how do you do it? So we always know how to time monomial and binomial together. So can we change this to a, a monomial? Yes, of course you can. You can change the order of multiplication because it's all multiply and multiply. Okay, you can just time these two first and deal with this one later. Okay, so this part here, you have 10x, 2 times 5. Okay, and then you have that. You don't have to put the bracket over 10x, actually. Okay, so distributive property 20x squared because it's 2x times 10x. Okay, so plus 3 times 10x, which is 30x. So that will be, I don't want to square it, that will be the volume of the whole thing. Okay, that's mean that that's that's telling you how much soil you need altogether. So that has a unit of meter cube. So this expression here, the total volume of soil you need, divided by ten centimeter, uh, ten meter cube, will uh, will actually get you how much uh, how much soil you need and uh, how many trucks you need. Okay, so in expression of number of truckloads, so number of truckloads will equal to two uh, two x twenty x squared times 30x which is the total soil amount you need the the space you need to fill uh divided by space or volume of soil by one truck so i actually don't need to put meters cube okay that's 10 so distributor property you basically divide these two first plus the quotient of these two okay so the first one first 20x squared divided by 10 it's 2x squared plus 30x divided by 10, which is 3x. Okay, and then you are done. That's the expression of number of loads.
number of number of times the truck needs to come basically okay uh this one here this one here is uh actually similar to all of those we talk we talk we talk we're going to talk about it at the uh front okay this one here this one is kind of similar to um all the questions we've talked about the volume of the tank is that so what polynomial expression represents the area of the base of the tr tank so we know that this here is 0 0.6 this measurement here is w and we don't know the dimension here but do we know the volume yes we know the volume okay for us to know the area of the base of the tank we need to find out what the, uh, you, we we know this already this is the given w and we need to actually find out this as well okay so uh let's find out this length the, the the lawn and measurement first so this volume is given you know volume is three dimension time together is always always the case okay time together don't remember formulas like understand it you only have three dimensions in rectangular tank so just three dimensions times up okay so that's the volume which is equal to uh let's it, it's written as a box here well, let's just represent it by a box okay 0 0.6 which is this one here times w which is this one here and this one we just represented by a box okay so how do we solve that we want to so basically this is 0 0.6 w we can treat it as a term okay we want to move 0 0.6 w to the other side we basically divide it okay we divide it because it's multiplied here you basically and the other way of saying it is to divide both sides by 0 0.6 w so 7.5 w squared minus 3 3 w divided by 0 0.6 w equals to the box okay so 0 0.5 7.5 w squared uh, divided by 0 0.6 w you need to calculate it here i need to calculate it as well okay 7.5 divided by 0 0.6 okay 12.5 w which is these two here minus 3 divided by 0 0.6 gives you 5 5 and w w cancel each other okay Alrighty. so it's the box that will be the length and which is the box i'll just represent oopsie sorry uh, I'll just represent it by this okay so what's the base of the tank now you know that we have the base of tank will be the w times the box which is basically w times 12.5 w minus 5 and distributor property do do a 12.5 w squared minus 5 w that will be the answer here meter squared okay so uh what's polynomial expression represents the length of the tank we kind of calculated already okay we calculated already is the box so what is the length of the tank if the width is 0 0.6 meter what is the volume of the tank okay so the length is given oh sorry the length is what we want the width is given width is 0 0.6 if the width is given what's the volume of the tank okay so um okay the volume of the tank the expression is given to us here so volume equals to 0 0.5 and that's the volume uh width is basically 7.5 wherever you see w you substitute it by 0 0.6 okay and then you calculate and you get the result. I'm not going to calculate here. So, and they ask you before, what's the length of the tank? Same idea. If the length is equal to, which is the box, this part here, is equal to 12.5 uh, W minus 5. Wherever you see W, you substitute by 0 0.6. So, times 0 0.6 minus 5. And whatever it is, you calculate by yourself. Okay? 
So that's that. And next question. This one here is too easy for you. Was the length?、Uh, it's just an easy version of the shape questions. Okay. And this is the area. This is the width. I basically do divide the area divided by the width equals to length. And distributor property. This one first. Three x. X square minus divided by x is x. Okay. And nine divided by three three. And then the other one is. This so minus three x divided by three x is one, okay, and you're done. So these ones,、uh, nobody asked me about these ones, but I just want to pick、uh, a few to actually talk about.、Uh, let's do first of all, let's do this one, and I want to do this one with you, and maybe this one here, okay. So this one here is a twelve、uh, m squared minus six point two m. Plus twenty four. So distributive property. So divided by two is like a magic, and it applies to every one in the equation. Okay, a word expression. So this applied the divided by two magic. This one divided by two. This one divided by two, and add them up together. Okay, first loop, or the first round is these ones. So twelve divided by two is six, and m squared is left out. And the second pair is this, so minus three point one because six point two divided by two is three point one, m plus these two, which is twelve, okay. And this one here, same idea,、um, divided by negative six y is like a magic, and it applies to every single member of the expression, okay. So. The first group and divide is、so、you have two positive two ne、uh, two negative signs, so the answer will be positive. And for this pair, uh, so is eighteen divided by six, which give you three. Y two divided by y is y minus. Okay, think about it whether it's minus or plus. This pair here, you're divided by a negative number, so and it's two negative signs here, so basically it's a positive. One, okay, because six y divided by six y is one. So this one here, same idea. This term here will give you negative one over five because this is a hidden one here. Okay, one over five. S two divided by s is s minus zero point three because it's one point five divided by five. That's zero point three. S t divided by s is s s cancel out t left. Great. Okay, so、um, the model questions here. I'm just gonna do one with you.、Uh, I believe I'm just gonna do this one with you here. Okay.、Uh, so this is x squared negative. This is negative x. You divide them. Basically, what you get is a positive answer because negative divided by negative, x squared minus、uh, divided by x give you a positive x. Okay, and then this is x x x x. These are all x's. X divided by negative x is basically giving you a negative one. Okay, negative ones. Done. Okay. Uh, so I just want to remind you that uh in my Dropbox folder it has chapter seven practice test on the textbook and textbook questions are really good. When we make assignment or make quiz, make text uh make tests, we would love to add some textbook questions in there because we don't know whether you did your homework or not, and we're going to reward for um those who actually did their homework and followed us um and on track. Okay, so yeah. Do textbook questions, please, and yeah. So thank you for listening. Hopefully it's helpful. Have a great day.